So why do I have my feet up on the desk? Well, two reasons. First, I can. And second, I just created a drawing file of an Autodesk Inventor assembly as a native DWG. Not some reverse engineered mini-me version of a DWG. A real AutoCAD DWG file. A DWG file that the rest of my team will be able to use AutoCAD to view, measure, print, and even add additional information to the drawing if needed. So you've heard the analogy. Five to one. For every one piece of engineering data, about five people need to consume it in one form or another. When it comes to repurposing the Autodesk Inventor Digital Prototype, our customers expect to have the ability to perform strength, motion, and mold analysis, create technical publications, and marketing collateral, and BIM-ready content as easily as I was able to create that DWG file. Each of these are simply another deliverable that are created directly from the Autodesk Inventor Digital Prototype. And show me a consumer product today that doesn't have the gorgeous flowing lines of a high-performance automobile. Why? Because the same technology used to design the surface bodies of those cars are being used to create your cell phone, helmet, and even ski binding with our Autodesk Alias line of products. Those surfaces can be brought into Autodesk Inventor so that engineers can turn concept into reality. And don't worry about the designer making last-minute changes to the surface. Just hit the update button inside of Autodesk Inventor. It's easy. You see, we even play nicer with those that haven't joined the party yet. You see, with Autodesk Inventor, we can read and write files in the native formats of those other products like Katia, Siemens NX, ProEngineer, and SolidWorks, just to name a few. So, now that I have to mess around with file translation problems and importing and exporting, I can get back down to business. You see, with Inventor 2012, it's easy.